Hi, I'm Molly, a member of the MTC Rehab team. We've just made this short video today to demonstrate how to complete Westmead post-traumatic amnesia testing with patients with a traumatic brain injury. If you are unsure whether a patient you are caring for requires PTA testing, please consult the MTC Rehab team. To begin PTA testing, you will need a pack. This contains a record sheet to record all the scores, a set of laminated pictures and written instructions. So we'll now demonstrate an example of how to conduct this assessment. Hi. So I've come to see you today to ask you some questions about where you are at the moment and just to see how much new information you can take on. Is that all right? Yep, it's fine. Great. So to start off with, can you tell me how old are you? I'm 20. Okay. And what is your date of birth? It is the 4th of February 2000. Okay. And what month are we in at the moment? Um, I'm not sure. That's okay, I'll give you some options. So is it October, November or December? I still don't know. That's fine. What time of day is it? Is it morning, afternoon or night time? Um, it's morning. Okay. And what day of the week is it? Um, I think it's Tuesday. Okay. What year are we in at the moment? We're in 2020. Okay. And what is the name of this place? Um, I'm not sure of the name, but I know that we're in Oxford. That's okay. So can you tell me, are we in a home, a hospital or a hotel? Um, in a hospital. Okay. Do you know the name of the hospital? No. That's okay, I'll give you some options. So are we in the Nuffield, the John Radcliffe or the Horton? I think it's the John Radcliffe. Okay, great. Thanks for answering those. So now I'm going to show you some pictures. And I want you to remember these pictures and I'll come back tomorrow and ask you which ones I showed you. Okay? Yeah. Great. So first of all, I want you to remember this man. His name is Patrick. And I'm also going to show you three objects that you need to remember. Okay. So a pair of scissors, a bird, and a cup. Okay. At this point, you would distract them for two minutes before asking them what they need to remember the next day. Make sure to then correct any mistakes and write the orientation information on the whiteboard at their bedside. Who did I ask you to remember a picture of? That was of Patrick. Great. And what were the three objects I showed you? Um, that was a bird, a cup, and I'm not sure about the last one. That's okay. So you're right, it was the bird and the cup, and the third one was the pair of scissors. Okay. So I want you to remember those for us as well tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all of the questions. You just got a couple of those wrong. I'm just going to go over them just so we're clear on everything. So today is Tuesday the 15th of December 2020. We're at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford. When returning the next day, you ask the first seven orientation questions in exactly the same way. We're now going to demonstrate an example of how you would then conduct the memory questions. So out of these three people, who did I show you a picture of yesterday? Uh, you showed me this one. Okay, great. If the patient chooses the incorrect person, show them the correct face, then ask what is their name. And um, do you remember what their name is? No, I'm not sure. That's okay. So I'll give you some options. Okay. Is it Peter, Paul, or Patrick? It's Patrick. Great, okay. I also showed you some objects. So I'm going to lay all of these out for you and I just want you to pick the three that I showed you yesterday. Okay, so you're right, it was the bird and the scissors, but it wasn't this one. The third one was a cup, okay? Okay. So we're gonna keep coming back to ask you these questions every day, okay? okay. 
So tomorrow when someone comes to see you, I want you to try and remember the same pictures again, okay? So we've got Patrick, and then a bird, scissors, and a cup. Okay. In terms of scoring the assessment, there are 12 marks in total. For all questions, you score one if the patient answers correctly. If they answer incorrectly, you score zero. If they say, I don't know, you can offer them three multiple choice options. If they then answer correctly, you score them one. If they still answer incorrectly or say, I don't know, score them zero. There are two exceptions to this. The first is question four, where you ask, what time of day is it? Immediately give them three options, morning, afternoon, or night. The second exception is question seven, where you are asking, what is the name of this place? The patient must say that they are at a hospital and give the name of the hospital. If they do not respond, say I don't know, or give a partial answer, go through the following questions shown on the screen. If a patient scores 12 out of 12, show them three new object pictures and ask them to remember them the next day. If the patient scores less than 12 out of 12, just ask them to remember the same three objects the next day, but again, keep the person and the, and the face the same. A person must score 12 out of 12 for three consecutive days to be considered out of PTA. If you require support to complete PTA testing with a patient who has additional communication needs, please do consult one of the rehab team or the psychological medicine team. Thanks for watching this video, we hope it's helpful.